apparent acts, physical acts. Otherwise, he would have said, just sit and remember me in your heart. Meditate. As people do in certain religions now. But no. Islam has constituted all acts of worship with special practices, acts. You stand, you do qiyam, you do ruku, you recite something, you go for prostration, you sit, you recite, you turn your face right and left. All these are outer, apparent, external, bodily acts. Physical acts. Why? Because every physical act has an impact on inner sight. Sujood brings you closer to Allah. What is tasbih? Glorification. We read something from with our mouth, with tongue. It has an impact on our heart and our spirit. So we can't separate outer aspect of act and inner aspect of act. This is just a delusion and deceit. So when our heart is purified, it means our wishes and desires are purified. When our wishes and desires are purified, then our soul and our secret is purified also. <laughs> so stately, when we wash our body and we receive the purity of body and we purify our senses, our doors are closed for evil, sinful things. We purify our mind, it means we have purified our thoughts, our way of thinking, our ideas are pure now. By having purifying the mind and thoughts and ideas, now we have achieved the stage of purifying the heart. When puri heart is purified, it means now our desires and wishes are purified. What does it mean? Purification of desire. Purification of wish and desire, this purity refers to the purity of our secret and purity of our soul and purity of our inner self. And purity of inner self means cutting off your relations with everything which takes you away from Lord. Detaching yourself from everything that takes you away from your Lord. This is purity of your inner self. So it means through this path, you, with this path,